everyone it's birdie here the recycled hippie chick hey i'm in the art studio today over on my jewelry counter i say jewelry counter like i really do jewelry look at all this stuff i don't do jewelry but i would like to so i have junk and i organize it sort of but i don't know what to do with it i'm getting a phone call i wonder if that's going to knock me off anyway um, I am going to make some dingle dangle paper clips to go on the pages of my art journals today. So I was going through stuff and I thought, what the heck? I might as well tape it, right? I've never done one. So I just watched a video today on how to do one. So say hi, Pepper. So I thought I would uh, record my first attempt and let you see how that turns out. So I'll get everything set up and I'll see you in a GIF. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is my sixth attempt of making a paper clip dingle dangle. Uh, it's almost not fun this time, but I'm bound and determined not to let this beat me and I'm going to get her done. First attempt, something weird went on when I previewed it and halfway through the screen turned pink and looked like some alien was taken over and second time I videoed it and I went back to watch it and the screen was black and the third time um, I just decided to video myself doing nonsense and uh, it turned out perfect. Fourth time I just got done doing it and realized I was off screen for 99% of the time. So I guess this is just my fifth time. So here we go. First, I wanted to show you my gift I got from my friend Stephanie. I got all these glass beads. I call it my happy mail. I got this little container of beads. I got this jar of pearls. I got this Duma Hickey. I'm not sure what it is, but she also gave me this book called Beading 101, so I'm sure it will explain it. I got this package of a kit, a beading kit. I got a jar of fun stuff my grandkids will like, sequins and beads. Two of them, more sequins. I got these, I'm going to call them jumbo seed beads because I don't know what they are called. They're larger than a seed bead, but yet really, still really small. And I got this container of actual seed beads. So, yes, people, that's how it works for me. I get blessed like that. I cannot tell you how many times people think of me and bring me good stuff or they're going to throw something away and I get to take it or I get it at an estate sale clean out or whatever. I just, I get blessed like that and I am so thankful because I don't like to buy anything. Okay, let's see if I can do this this time without going <laughs> off frame. I want to get it to where I can see there. Okay. Let's make a dangle dangle, shall we? All right. So, I watched this lady. She made a paper clip dingle dangle to put on the edge of her art journal like this. And I thought, how cute is that? And here we go. Let's make one. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our paper clip and we're going to kind of bend it out a little bit. And we are going to take some, this says it's 24 gauge. She said 20. Uh, this is what I have. So this is what I'm using. Wire. I'm probably not doing any of this the way she said to do it but I'm just doing it because that's what I have. So she said wrap it five times, two, three, four, five, around your paper clip. Then take your little 
round pliers and make like a little loop-de-loop. -loop. But before you start wrapping again with your little loop-de-loop, -loop, go ahead and add a jump ring on here. She said use a jump ring that is not a split ring. I do not have any of those, so mine's going to be a split ring. I'm sure it makes it so that it doesn't fall off easier. Come on, baby. Slide down here a little bit. I didn't give myself enough room. Okay, now we're going to wrap it another five times. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to look sloppy for a little bit. So see, now we have our jump ring on there. And we're going to slide this cluster of wire all the way around. To this end right here now we're going to shape it up and make it beautiful i'm going to pull this around and i'm going to cut it off with my what should be flush cutters but they're not because i bought a really nice pair of flush color cutters from jerry bellini's recycled parts for art uh, Etsy shop and was so excited when this lady said we're going to use flush cutters today I'm like yes I can use my flush cutters for what you're supposed to use them for and guess what I cannot find them anywhere I have searched this art room so when I least expect it I will probably run across them when I'm not interested in using them anymore that's the way I roll now, she said take your crimping pliers and squeeze these little ends down, in which I do not own a pair, but I think I will purchase some because I think the proper tools would probably make this much easier. And uh, I, I have crimped beads before. I didn't know they made crimping pliers till today. And I've always used these to squeeze my crimp beads together. There. Now, we've bent our paper clip back into the shape of a paper clip. We have our cute little jump ring up here on our little doomahickey. Now let's do some beads and hook on there, shall we? Um, let's take one of these, well here, here's one with already a bead stuck on it. These little wire things that look like a straight pin at one end and then they're blunt at the other. I'm going to stick a little bitty bead on first. Well, let's call this our stopper bead. Because if you use a bead with a larger hole in it, like this one, you don't want it to go clear through. So that stopper bead keeps this little bitty head from going through your bigger bead. So that's what we're going to do. Let's find us another bead. And then let's find us another bead. I'm not a design person, so I'm sure these don't match or whatever, but, you know, I don't have design sense in my body. So now, she said, take your round ones again, and she said to bend it in a 45-degree angle and then bend this back around to make like a, a loop. But before you start twisting it and attaching it, put it through your jump ring, okay? So that you can hold on to it and start twisting this little tail around. And this is where your crimper pliers come in handy, in which I don't have. So I'm going to try to squish my end down with my little flat ones here. And maybe I'll just get impatient and take my, no, not my flush cutters, my just my regular dykes. Cut that off as close as I can. And just try to squish it down. This is where patience comes in when you don't have the right tools. And I don't have a lot of patience. I mean, I don't know if this is supposed to be relaxing or not. Maybe it gets relaxing the far, more you learn how to do it. But every muscle in my body is tense trying to figure this out. 
there. Okay, look at there, people. We just made a dingle dangle. Let's do another one so we have a couple on there. See, I made all of these trying to get figure this out and, you know, I'm hoping this time works out. I'm not holding my breath. If it doesn't, we're not getting a video on this. Sorry, not going to do it. If this one doesn't work out, I'm giving up. What the heck is this little thing? That doesn't look like it would go. Let's see if this one could be a stopper bead. Yep, it can. Oh, let's find something adorable. Those are really humongous. There's a little red, white, and blue one. Let's go ahead and let's put one of these on there. There we go. Okay. Now let's take our little round ones, like she said, turn it at a 45 degree angle. Wrap it, but before we hook it onto our little jump ring, we're going to go. Man, this makes your fingers kind of sore. Grab it. Wrap it. Oh, this is so exciting. I love learning new things. Who knows, maybe if I figure this out and can make these properly, maybe I can put them in my little Etsy shop. OMG. <laughs> Doesn't that look... You guys, come on. Anyway, let's pretend like it's crimped and done. Look. Isn't that cute, you guys? Let's see how it performs. There we go. Ta-da! Thanks for hanging with me. I had fun. I hope you did. Go make you some dingle dangles and tell me how they turned out. And the fifth time worked like a charm. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Anyway, bye-bye from Birdie.